Hi, I'm Chas, and you're watching Chas's Crazy Creations. Let's get started. I found this table on nextdoor.com for free. It had been well loved and sat in storage for a long time. I took a sanding block and lightly sanded with the grain of the wood for the whole entire table. I learned that it was gonna need a little more love than that, so I went ahead and used my Black & Decker Orbital Sander on the tabletop. After sanding, I used Cred Cutter to clean off the entire surface. Not only did this help me clean the table after sanding, it also helped me get rid of all the sticky residue and other weird things that were left behind on this tabletop. After cleaning it off, my table was ready to be painted. I found two chairs on the side of the road for free and know that they would help me have chairs for this dining room table. I cleaned them both with cred cutter before moving on. Next I would be using Bare Ultra Scuff Defense paint in the color Broadway. I put the paint in my Wagner paint sprayer. I first started by painting the base of the table with the Broadway paint. I wanted a nice solid color. Once the base was painted, I went ahead and let that dry completely. While the table paint was drying, I went ahead and spray painted the chairs. I love this Broadway color, and after painting both chairs, I let them dry. As I mentioned before, the tabletop was pretty beat up, so I decided to go create a farmhouse look, and I started with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color gray. I used a damp chip brush and I started by painting the paint onto the top of the table. I wanted to create a barn wood effect or a weathered effect. So I was being very sparse with my brushes, very random, and it was okay that it was streaky. As I got the paint on, I then wiped the paint with a damp rag to help smooth the lines. I continued to do this until I got the look I wanted. Next, I would use Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in the color gray. I used a damp brush and again, just kind of used light brush strokes. I would dip my brush in the paint and then I would offload as much paint as possible onto a paper plate. This would help me not put too much paint in one spot. I continued to do this until I got the look that I wanted for the entire table. I also did the same thing to the edge of the table all the way around. I had removed the hardware from the drawers on either side and painted the drawer fronts the exact same way. Once it had dried, I put the hardware back on. I let the paint dry completely and I really love how it turned out. Once everything was dry, the table was ready to be used. I really love the two-tone look and how it turned out. I love how the wings on the table fold down. It can be a two-person table or it can be a six-person table. My grandmother had a table very similar to this and in fact, it's in my dining room today and you can check it out on my blog. I hope this inspires you to take something you might find for free and turn it into something that you love. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog and be sure to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.